His hands are soaked in butterfly blood. Wing tip pinned down with needles born from the voodoo queen. Antennas detect death sipping moonshine of a teacup. Compound eyes watch helplessly as the crazed King Kuiper sharpen his tool with an axe hide. The dissected guts of the butterfly reveals pieces of the present. Shredded, tainted glass wings diffract light into a spectrum of past and future. And when the pounding of the meteorite on the butterfly, the butterfly blood will paint a prophecy, a prophecy that gave the crazed King Kuiper his name. Is there no way, is there no way to change this future? 2,000 different species all told the same story. His lineage of 5,000 years will die with him. None of his children will survive their coming of age. And this renaissance, this renaissance, this era of wealth and art and divination will end here. As he sits on his silky throne, contemplating who will take over his throne, the fumes from the incest of burning dead caterpillars took over him, and he began to daydream. Upon his death, there will be a war of the three kingdoms. The snakes will take over the world. They are powerful and they have the most gold. They are not afraid to poison anyone who will not follow them. The bears will fight back. They believe in a just and freedom kingdom. They are the bravest and they have the most loyal following. But they will fall one by one. The bears will fall because they are just too honest, just too just. And anyone can be swayed by gold. The falcons do not care. All they want to do is trade. They will fund any of their enemies if it suited them. They see everything, they hear everything, they know everything. But you can never tell what their true intentions are or where their loyalties lie. All across the land, the, there is ash and there is decay. If you listen to the wind, you will hear the voice going, let them burn! Let them all burn! As the, Kai, the crazed King Kuiper came back from his daydream, he said this could not be. He leaves the great hall, he goes down the dark tower into his private garden. He enters into his greenhouse and he starts smashing the butterflies with his meteorite, which was gifts from the heaven. Gifts to the first King Albert, the first of his kind, for bringing peace to the spirits and humanity. As he sits on the floor, staring at his hands, soaked in butterfly blood, an image appeared to him. A giant metal marked butterfly, its wingspan was wider than the green. House, its body taller than a man in his spoke. 
and he said, it is your time, Kaipa. Who dares call my name? I am king. You are no king to me. It is time for the prophecy to fulfill itself. What? Why? Have I not given the prophecies to the people? Have I not given them the fire of life? Have I not led the world to a renaissance? Have I not brought wealth and great power to this earth? Why? During the first of your line, we granted your kind the gift of sight. We allowed countless of butterflies to be sacrificed as gifts. But your kind has done nothing to benefit anyone else in this planet except yourself. We will wipe this planet clean of your kind and it will begin with your death. No! I am not like my forefathers. It is they who did it. I will change. We will change. There is still time to change. The time? This change is now. Get it from me. Thank you.